right, thank you very much, Rick. And uh, batting now for the Red Raiders is number four, Megan Gunning, Fruitport third baseman. She is quickly 0-2. And And Megan Glover firing, and it's going to be a foul back to the fence here, chasing it, Whitney James, but will not be able to get there. So still no balls and two strikes. Good also by Whitney. One ball, two strikes, you'd say. Yep. Morgan, uh, fine pitcher in there, working her third inning now. Top of the three, top of the three, top of the third. Red uh, Raiders on top, two to nothing. Wheels and fires does uh, Megan Glover. Strikes out number four, uh, Megan Gunning. And uh, she will go back and grab some pine. Set down. It looks like number 13 is going to bat. That will be Michaela Workman of Hesperia. First trip up here. That's right-handed. Well, Morgan has settled right down here. Yes, she after has. After having kind of a rough first inning, uh, three three hits, two runs, and uh, boy, neither of these teams have had a whiff since then. Swing and a miss for a strike for Workman. And Glover fires again. This one a little bit outside. Goes low on low on inside. First strike, ball one. Now high and outside for a ball. One and one, John. And the next pitch. Is the ball 3-0, they're saying. So apparently the first one was not a strike. I was a little bit hasty on that. So three balls and no strikes against Workman. And she'll be taking this one right down the pike for a strike. Three balls and one strike for Michaela Workman. Well, I'm with you. I thought the first pitch was a strike because she kind of swung. But must be she uh, checked check swing. Yep. Didn't check that one. Swung right through it. And we have two down here. So another strikeout for... Uh, that was Michaela Workman that struck out. Right. For Morgan uh, yeah. Glover. Yeah. Wind picking up here, a little grounder to third base goes a foul. Take a look at Glover. These girls are used to pitching off of, uh, you know, diamond dust, and now she's pitching off a of carpet. Right. So uh, it's definitely has got to uh, kind of just be a completely different feel for him. Yeah, that's one of the little sidelines here with uh, converting a baseball uh park into a, a softball park for a game. You're absolutely right. Wheels and fires and a, another strike. And she goes down. And we got Rick Hickman standing by the uh, Red Raiders uh, dugout. Rick? Aaron is a young lady uh, up at the plate now who has all kinds of options for her future. She is going to be attending St. Mary's in Indiana. Of course, you know, it's a neighboring school to Notre Dame. And she might also enlist in the Navy. So certainly a lot of choices for Aaron. Aaron Najaraki of Mason County. And uh, one ball, or I'm sorry, two balls and no strikes for uh, Jaraki. Pitching now is Morgan uh, Glover. And she fires that one down the middle of the plate. Two balls and one strike. Yeah, nice looking pitch. Looks like she has a little bit of a rise ball work in there, John. Two to nothing. The Red Raiders on top of the Blue Bells and a swing and a miss. Well, she took a little something off of that pitch. She did. Came in about uh, three to five miles an hour slower than the uh, rise ball she had thrown a minute ago. Two and two and a swing and a miss and another strikeout for uh, for Morgan Glover of Fruitport. After uh, well, two innings, two and a half innings, we go to the uh, bottom of the third inning. Still two to nothing. The Red Raiders on top of the Blue Bells. We're going to take a break. You're listening to the All Star Classic Girls Softball on uh, 97.5 Sunny FM. Now we're back here at the uh, Marsh All Star Classic Girls Softball. Be followed uh, by uh, boys baseball. It's supposed to get underway. A little after 8 o'clock uh, tonight. This one moving right along here. We're at the bottom of the third inning. The uh, home team, the Blue Bells, trailing the uh, visitors, the Red Raiders, by the score of uh, 2 to nothing. Lauren Johnson on the hill for the, uh, well, <laughs> on the slab, I should say, for the uh, for the Red Raiders. Catching for her will be uh, Shelby Allstein's big arm. Just watch the uh, throw down to second. Nice arm by uh, Shelby. Looks like Emily uh, Blanick is uh, going to lead this uh, inning off for the Blue Bells. Blanick is second baseman for the Blue Bells. Takes a strike. Johnson wheels and fires strike number two. Boy caught the inside corner twice here, two times in a row there. Nice job by Johnson. Infield crowding in. And a foul back to the screen here. Located directly behind home plate. Great uh, venue that uh, Joe Jason set us up in. When Johnson, watch her delivery, she strides off the plate. She ends up moving to the left, and the ball comes right back into the right. Effective pitch. 
Swings and misses, and another strikeout for uh, Johnson. So one up and one down here in the bottom of the third. Two to nothing. The Red Raiders on top of the Blue Bells are trying to get something started. Blue Bells yet to uh, have a hit. One base runner on an error. And Patty now is number 11. That's uh, Carly Jower. And they, she chases that low pitch that's breaking to the inside. Again, uh, rocket rules, meaning that everybody bats on the roster. It's another swing and a miss. Oh. Fastball right down the pipe. Bell high. That's when you want to turn on, and Jower just could not catch up with it. Both of these pitchers wasting little time. They're on a mission, and the, another strike. This one taken by Jower. She watches that one, as Ernie would say. Stood there <laughs> like the house by the side of the road, and yep. we have two up and two down. She struck out four of the last five. Due up is uh, Peyton Burton number 12. from Hesperia. Peyton gets some uh, aluminum on that one, and it's uh, a diving attempt there by the uh, Red Raiders uh, center fielder, Kirsten uh, Jerkson, but she cannot come up with it, and safe at first is Peyton Berkman. Nice try, good effort. So safe at first is Berkman, so maybe the Blue Bells can get something started here. Going to have to start a two-out rally. Berkman at first, two outs, and Patty now for the uh, Blue Bells. Will be Haley. Will be Haley, and a fire, uh, shot down to second base, a skeleton base attempt. But throwing her out was Alstein trying to get down there. Nice uh, pick by Alstein. That's the second runner she's thrown out uh, this afternoon. So. Big arm, big arm right there. Don't run on her. So after three innings of play, still two to nothing. The Red Raiders on top of the Blue Bells. It's a Marsh Field All-Star Classic on 97.5 Sunny FM. And it looks like 